Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I usually focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I tend to upload once or twice a week on Sundays and Thursdays, so I don't want you to miss a thing. Okay y'all, so today we're gonna be talking about the Sephora sale. I've been asked to do a Sephora recommendations list and we're going to do that today but I also want to talk about some products that I'm going to be purchasing and trying out um, and that's exciting for me because I'm such a holy grail product user especially when it comes to my skin, my makeup and things like that. Um, I have very sensitive skin so I use my products over and over and over again. I'm not really a makeup enthusiast like I used to be. I do makeup you know just to enhance my natural features and things like that. I'm not like trying to be a makeup artist. You know, back in the day, we all, you know, experimented a little bit more with makeup. So with that being said, most of the makeup and skincare products are going to be products that I've used for years, okay? Some may be a little bit, you know, less like three months, um, but at least three months, two years, you know? So I love using the same thing so I don't have to worry about breakouts and things like that. Now, when it comes to my fragrances, you guys know I am a fragrance lover, fragrance connoisseur, so I definitely like to experiment with those. So I do have some recommendations that I love, but also some fragrances that I want to try. So if you guys are interested in my recommendations list, then stick around. Okay, y'all, so the Sephora sale starts in a couple of days. It starts on April the 14th which is this Friday and it starts for the VIB Rouge members which are the top tier um, members so if you have spent over a certain amount you do get Rouge and you get 20% off of everything in Sephora and then it goes 20 15 and 10 percent and for the 10 percent you just have to sign up to be a part of their rewards you know, program. So if you have not signed up to be a member at Sephora, go ahead and do that. It's free to you and you get perks. So the more you buy, the higher tier you become, you know, and that's why I love being Rouge. I do spend quite a bit at Sephora, but I usually only spend during the sale. And that's when I get like my higher products. So I'm automatically going into Rouge, you know what I mean? And I don't have to like Feel like I have to constantly buy throughout the year, okay? So we got that out the way. Let's go ahead and get into my list. Okay, so we're gonna start off with skincare and I'm gonna go back and forth between what I'm recommending from products that I've used and then I'll go into the products that are on my radar for that particular category, just to keep everything in order. And things do sell out quite often, especially if you are not rouge. So my recommendation would be to go ahead, click on those links that I put down below if you're interested in the products, save them in your cart so that when it's time to buy, you can go ahead and just check out, you know, and you're not you're not having to search for different items and wasting time because it could be like the Hunger Games, okay? Especially, like I said, if you are maybe second or third tier when it comes to the sale because you have to wait longer days to shop. Okay, so one of my newest products that I recommend, and I just started using this maybe two and a half, three weeks ago. It was after my micro needling appointment, and it is the Ennis SPF. 36 moisturizer. I love this moisturizer, you guys. Number one, it does not break me out. Number two, I love how lightweight it is and it's perfect to wear underneath your makeup. Now, it does only have 36, you know, SPF, but I do like that because it does not give me a white cast under my makeup. A lot of the times when you go up to like the 50 um, percent, you know, SPF, you're going to get that white cast under your makeup. So I do wear the higher SPFs when I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm going out, you know, to run errands and just on, on a day to day. But when I'm wearing makeup and I need to go out, I wear the SPF 36 and it works wonders. I love, love, love this product and it's not greasy by any means and it just really lays well under your makeup and it protects the skin and again it's good for sensitive skin as well and this was my first in its product so I've been looking at some of their other products to see if I wanted to try some other things out as well so if you are familiar with in its beauty products go ahead and let me know some of the things that you like from this brand because I am converted okay so my next skincare product is of course the Charlotte Tilbury Magic night cream. I have been ranting and raving about this night cream probably for three to four years now. Every time the sale comes around, I re-up on this product because it is not a cheap 
product, but it does work. I love this product. I notice a huge difference when I wake up in the morning. So the thing about the Magic Night Cream from Charlotte Tilbury is that it does have like an emollient type of texture. It kind of reminds you of Vaseline. And when you put it on, you may think, wow, this is a heavy product. And is this going to clog my pores? It does the opposite. It just hydrates the skin so much, you guys. And it does not clog the pores, even though it feels a little heavy applying it. When you wake up in the morning, your skin literally drinks this up. And another great thing about this product, not only do you notice a difference in the morning, but it has retinol in it. So it's really doing its job overnight. You guys know the skin cells turn over at night and this product is really top tier one of the only expensive products that I would say is worth the money, along with the regular um, Charlotte Tilbury cream. Uh, I think it's called just the Magic Cream. And the difference between the Magic Cream and the Night Cream, the Night Cream, like I said, has retinol and the regular cream. It's not as emollient, so it's more of an actual white cream. So if you are afraid of like that emollient texture, maybe try the regular um, cream. And it has hyaluronic acid in there, so it's really good for, you know, moisture and hydration. But I'm telling you, I had, I used to have oily skin and now I just have regular normal skin after getting facials and things for a couple years and I've never experienced clogged pores or it being too greasy. It is scary though if you are used to just wearing light products you know but it is amazing both of the creams so I recommend the night and the day cream but start off just getting one because again they're not inexpensive products and I would recommend you start off with the night cream. And if you really love it and you notice that you do want to use a day cream, go ahead and get that. But here's the thing, the day cream does not have any SPF. So this is a day cream that I usually wear on days when I'm not wearing any makeup because I can apply this and then I don't feel weird by applying my SPF on top. Um, you know, it is a heavier cream, so I don't like to pile too many things underneath my makeup. But I recommend them both, love them both. When I run out of one, you know, I just... I just rotate back and forth. So I love them. You don't have to start off with both, but they're both amazing. The next skincare product that I have absolutely been loving probably for the last two or three months is the Clarins Double Serum. You guys, I have been talking about this on Instagram for a little minute since I got it pretty much because I noticed a difference right away. If you're anything like me, I think most of us, especially when we're having skin issues and just when it comes to products, period, we like that instant gratification. The double serum does just that, okay? It is great for a dry to normal skin, but it's not heavy. It does give you an immaculate glow though. So I love wearing this on days when I'm not wearing a uh, foundation as well. Just when I want to go for just, you know, nice, clear glass skin, if you will. Beautiful. Perfect for anti-aging. It's perfect for um, loss of firmness and also good for uneven texture, which is why I started using it because I have have been battling with acne for some months and then once I got rid of the acne I wanted to work on the scarring and just the overall condition and texture of my skin and I've noticed a huge difference you guys it is absolutely amazing okay so I love this definitely will be re-upping on this product because this is not an in inexpensive product either I believe it's about $90 but if you're rouge you're going to get the 20% off so what better time that's why I always recommend Get your skincare products and the high, you know, higher price products during the sale. Okay, so my last skincare product, I would say, maybe it's it is or it's not, it is the Clinique Makeup Removing Balm. I love this product. The last time I got it during the sale, they didn't have the large tub. And I always like to get the largest of tubs because again, 20% off, but I see it now, it's back on the site. So I definitely have that in my cart. I've been using this for probably two years now and I love it so much. It's super easy. I mean, it's exactly what it says. It's an emollient type of formula that wipes your makeup away. So it helps when you are cleansing because you're already taking off that first layer of makeup. You go in with your cleanser and of course you want to double cleanse as well. And your skin is like squeaky clean, you know, instead of going directly in with your face wash, you're like wasting all of the good face wash on a whole layer of makeup, you know? So it's really good to use something to remove the makeup. And instead of the wipes, I really enjoy an oil or a balm and Clinique is just the one that I love. 
it is tried and true. It's been around for years and it's absolutely amazing. So if you've been looking for a new balm, definitely try this one out. It does not break me out. So that's a plus. But if you guys have any balms that you like or oil cleansers, let me know because I'm willing to try something new. Like I said, I've been using this one for like two years. So I'm always open, but it has to be sensitive skin approved. Okay. And Clinique is one of those brands that's tried and true, been around for years and they never fail you. So on my list to try, Try for skincare, I only have one product, y'all, and it is the Polish Choice BHA liquid exfoliator. I've heard so many great things about this liquid exfoliator and I really want to try it. Um, the Glam Twins were the first ones that I ever heard talk about this. I've done some research on it and it has amazing reviews. So I'm really interested to see, um, you know, what this will do. The only exfoliator I use is my Sanitas pads or I'll go in with my um, Dermalog Dermalogica something like that. I forgot the name. It's just like a powder exfoliant that you mix with water. So those are the only two exfoliants that I use, but I've heard really good thing about this liquid one. So if you guys have tried this, let me know. It's in my cart. I'm definitely going to buy it during the sale just to give it a try. And this will be my first time trying a Polish Choice um, you know, product. And I've heard about Polish Choice since I actually got on the internet, like I think 2009 they've been around for a very long time. So yeah, I definitely want to try that out. And like I said, if you guys have any um, experience with that, let me know. Okay, y'all. So let's go ahead and move into body care. Now, this is when I like to splurge on my body care and get like those more luxurious items. I still love my Target things and stuff like that. But when the sale comes around, I'm always going to go for the necessary products and the whey products. Okay. So my first product that I recommend and I've been using for a while, while is the Way Melrose Body Wash. Absolutely love this body wash because um, it's paraben free, sulfate free, cruelty free. It's all the things very healthy for the body, but also it has a beautiful, smooth lather. It hydrates the skin and it smells so good. You have to like a rose scent. To me, it's a very soft rose and I kind of use this as like my layering. So on days when I know I'm going to go for more floral fragrances, I always wash with the Melrose um, scent, the body wash, because I just love it that much. And they have a scrub as well that I absolutely love, you guys. The scrub is supposed to be for scalp and body. I've never used it on my scalp, but on the body, it almost lathers as well. Very hydrating. It's just beautiful. Both of the products are amazing. I promise you, you will love, love, love the way body wash and their scrub. Um, I think the body wash is about $28, but of course, 20% off. You can't beat it. So I love that scent so much. And I definitely want to try the St. Bart's scent. I'm going to get the St. Bart's body wash and the scrub um, during the sale because I just want to try it. And I heard that it smells kind of like gypsy water or just like being on vacation. But I love a good rose scent, especially in the shower. It's just very soft and feminine to me. So if you like floral scents, definitely try out the Melrose um, body wash and the scrub. Highly recommend these products. They are worth the money in my opinion. Of course, you can get body wash from anywhere. But if you like to treat yourself, okay, if you like to have those self-care days when you just kind of want to indulge, these are the perfect products to do that with. The next body wash that I recommend is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Body Wash. It is amazing. The smell is amazing. Love using this all year round. But of course, when I'm going to wear my Gourmand scents, I like to wash with this one. And the reason why I like this one is because they have the big bottle with the pump. Okay, so I always get the big bottle with the pump during the sale because the smell is just divine and it layers really well, um, you know, with your gourmand scents and things like that. It smells just like the Boom Boom Cream. So I don't use the Boom Boom Cream because to me, it's not moisturizing um, like I would like for it to be, but I do like the scent of it. If I do buy one, like if I'm just randomly in Sephora, I'll use it like the hand cream um, or I'll get a little small one just for travel. But I don't use the Boom Boom Cream anymore because I have found better things that are way more hydrating, but I can't let that scent go. So if you like the scent like myself and you just want to indulge, the body wash is amazing. Now, Sephora, if y'all are watching this, please come out with the body wash for the Bill LaFleur or whatever that one is. You know, the one that smells like a sweet Baccarat. That would be 
a game changer. Like you really need to. It smells amazing, but they only have it in the cream and the um, body spray. And I'm just not interested in those. I've tried the cream, still have some of that cream. And again, it's just not moisturizing like that. So when I do use it, because I am going to use it up, um, I'm just going to use it just for my hands or just to layer like on my chest and things like that with uh, certain fragrances. But the body wash top tier, it's amazing. Before I discovered Way and before I discovered the necessary product, I was using the So De Janeiro body wash and I love it so much. Now, speaking of Necessaire, I have a few products from them that I love. Now, I only use my Necessaire products at night and like usually self-care Sunday simply because I'm in love with the eucalyptus scent, okay? And to me, eucalyptus is like, you know, spa day or whatever. And when I use that scent, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to lounge around the house. That's usually my Sundays when I'm cleaning up and all of that. Sometimes Saturdays too. So I love the Necessaire Body Wash and the Eucalyptus Scent. Highly recommend that. It is amazing. Um, again, a very clean product. And the thing about Necessaire is that it's like skincare for the body. So it has tons of vitamins and minerals in there that are really good for your skin. And we tend to neglect our body skin, you know, the skin on our body because we're so focused and hyper-focused on taking care of the skin on our face. But the body needs care too. And if you are very like, if you're a stickler for body care, Necessaire is one of those products that you're definitely going to get your bang for your buck. Um, and I just really love them. Now, I also recommend you get the serum. The serum is really nice. You use that before you put your lotions and things like that on. And I do find that it makes a difference. It gives a nice shine and it locks in moisture. And then when you put on, you know, your lotion or whatever, it's just, it makes your skin look and feel super healthy. So I do like the serum. Their lotion, I do not care for. To me, it's not that moisturizing. It's a little too thin. I like a thicker cream that's, I don't know. It's just, you know, it's nice and it's fragrance free, which is good, but it's not worth it to me. Okay. But I love the body wash, love the serum, and I absolutely love their scrub. If you need a scrub that is very gentle, but will still get rid of dead skin on your body, try the necessary scrubs. Okay. The way scrub is a little bit more abrasive and some people can't deal with abrasive scrubs. So the necessary one is really, really good. It foams up on the body as well. It's very hydrating. It doesn't strip the skin at all. And it's great. I have the eucalyptus scent and I love it so much. So I definitely recommend those three products from Necessaire. You will not be disappointed. And if you're not really a scent person, I like the fact that Necessaire has body care that is unscented. Literally, it smells like nothing. So it's perfect for those who have eczema or just um, really, really, really sensitive skin. Since we're speaking about body care, I guess I'll mention some of my lip products that I love. The Laneige lip products are some of my favorites. I love using the sleeping mask. I use that every night. Um, and I use the gummy bear. I think it's the gummy bear scent. Um, it's the one in the pink jar. Love that. Very moisturizing. It's, it's just great. It's a great product. And to me, it's worth it. I recommend you get it during the sale so you can get the money off, but it's really good. But on top of that, I love the Laneige lip balm. My favorite scent is the pear, which is the green little tube. It gives a beautiful shine. It smells like pears, like candy pears. It smells so good. And it lasts a long time. And it also hydrates deep within the lips. Okay. I like that a lot because sometimes when you have like those kind of thicker glosses, this is not a gloss, it's a balm, but it looks like a gloss when you put it on because it's super shiny. But sometimes when you use those, it's like it's just a coating over the lip and underneath you're still cracking and peeling. And I can't stand that because it's like, what's the point? The Laneige does not do that. So love the night mask, the night sleeping mask, and also love the lip balm. Highly recommend both. I always keep the balm in my purse. I'm also a huge fan of the Summer Fridays lip balm. That one's not as shiny, but I do like it because it's a thinner uh, consistency and it's not sticky. So it's really nice. And I just like using that, you know, just on a regular basis. I would say you get maybe a two for one out of the Laneige, but if you hate sticky products, like hate, hate, 
go ahead and go for the Summer Fridays. To me, the Laneige is not sticky, but it's definitely a thicker consistency. So yeah, but you also do, you get more in the Summer Friday. So take your pick between the balms. Um, but these are lip balms that I've tried and I do recommend them for the price because I've tried several you know, lip balms that are expensive. And these are the two that stand out to me. Now, my last lip product is definitely the most expensive lip product, but it is so worth it. You guys, I am obsessed with it and I will be buying another one during the Sephora sale. And it is the Dior lip balm. Okay. The lip oil. I'm sorry. I am... I've been converted. Uh, Monroe sent me this lip oil and I fell in love with it, especially in rosewood. The color is phenomenal. I've been thinking about trying another color, but I'm like, rosewood is so perfect for the brown skin girls like myself, because here's the thing. I don't know what it is. I don't have the type of skin tone or maybe I just don't like it on me to where when I'm not wearing makeup, I really don't like a lot of tint on the lips, um, especially if it's too red. Rosewood gives your lips the most hydrated, almost like injected lip type of look. So it's like this slight pink, but it doesn't look it doesn't make you look washed out. I feel like red tones, when I don't have makeup on, it makes me look washed out. This one does not do that. It literally looks like I just got my lips done, okay? That's why I love it so much, but also the applicator is top tier, okay? That's what really sold me. The formula is amazing. Everything about this product is top tier, but it's $40, which is why I never even looked into buying this because I'm like, no. But now that I have it, I don't think I can live without it, y'all. It is amazing. I love it, love it, love it so much. If you haven't tried the Dior lip oil, this is the perfect time to give it a shot because it will be on sale and you'll just see what the hype is all about. This is one of those products that I feel like is super hyped, but for me, it's worth it. It's so satisfying when you put it on. Ugh. Okay, y'all, so since we're on body care, why not just go into fragrances? You guys know that's my favorite thing to talk about. And so again, any expensive fragrance that you want from Sephora, please get it during the sale. But my recommendations list, you guys, if you've watched any of my videos, you've heard about these fragrances time and time and time again. And so, you know, it may be a little bit redundant, but this is the time to get those fragrances because fragrances are not cheap okay so when you can get them for 20 percent off please do that <laughs> so i do have a list here the first fragrance that i want to recommend is the donna born in roma by valentino actually i want to recommend this for the women and the men they have a men's version that smells impeccable okay impeccable it is so good so i love and wear the donna um, born in roma all the time i mix it with so many different fragrances just to freshen it up or Whatever. I just love it so much. So definitely recommend you get that fragrance if you have been wanting to try it. But if you're looking for something for your man, get the uh, Born in Roma for men. It smells so good. OK, you don't want no man coming up to you, trying to hug you, talk to you or nothing if he ain't trying to move forward. OK, with this scent on, I promise you it's everything. And I do want to mention a lot of the fragrances that I'm going to recommend since I talk about fragrances so much on my channel. These are more of the scents that I recommend for spring. Some of them are all year round, but I don't want to go down a full list of like, you know, fragrances and it's just be annoying for you guys. So the next one is from Kayali and it is the Sweet Diamond. This is a beautiful, I would say youthful floral fragrance. If you don't typically like florals, try Sweet Diamond. To me, it's like a mixture between the Lancome Idol and um, what is the other one? Parfums de Marley Delina. It just, it's really nice, you guys. And it's sweet, but it's very floral and it has a little bit of tartness to it. A perfect floral fragrance for the spring and summer and it is unique in my opinion i like the tartness that i get from it which is what reminds me of delina but it is amazing and it's not too expensive so this is the perfect time to get it because you can get even more of a discount you know so love that fragrance highly recommend it and speaking of idole i definitely recommend you get the lancome idole this is one of my newest favorites i wear it all the time i've been mixing it it is such a fresh sweet floral that i just love i've been in a very feminine mood um i would say within the last 
seven months to a year and I just love that scent. It just tops everything so well. I love it so much, y'all. And I get a lot of compliments on this one. I think that this is a fragrance that anybody can wear no matter the age and it's a people pleaser. It's not something like super heavy. It doesn't have like ouds and all those things in there. It's just a beautiful scent, perfect for spring and summer. So Lancome Idole, definitely want to get your nose on that one. And what better time to buy it than during the Sephora sale. Another one that I want to recommend is the Tom Ford Bitter Peach. Now Tom Ford fragrances are super expensive. We all know that. So any Tom Ford fragrance that you want, please get it during the sale. But the Bitter Peach, I really love for the summer. Um, I had had it when it first came out, didn't care for it because it was wintertime. I threw it on one day in the summer and I was outside at a day party. And y'all, when I tell you the way it warmed up on my skin, it was this juicy, sexy peach that had depth to it. And it was just beautiful. Okay. So I was converted then because I'd had the fragrance for a couple of months and was just not feeling it. But in the summertime, it comes alive on my skin. So really love the Tom Ford Bitter Peach. I think it is a controversial type of fragrance. You either love it or you hate it. And I was like, ugh, it's not my thing. But again, in the summertime, love it on me. Love it. So highly recommend that one because I think that retails for about $300. So definitely go ahead and get that uh, on the sale or just try a um, travel size as well. They do have that. You guys know I also love my Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Absolutely love that scent. I will always recommend you get that scent. But Kayali has Love Fest and I've heard great things about that one. Um, I did smell it, but I've never uh, worn it on the skin. So it does smell similar to Lost Cherry, but to me, it has a little bit more cologne vibes in there. It's a little bit more depth in there. Um, I like to use my Lost Cherry by itself, but I also love using it as a topper to mix with certain fragrances. And to me, the Love Fest is not one that I would mix just by smelling it, you know, in passing. Again, I've never tried it on the skin, but it is way less expensive. So I do recommend you uh, get that one if you did not care for Lost Cherry by Tom Ford and you want to try a cheaper alternative. Kayali has really great fragrances. Um, I love her fragrances because they're not expensive, but they also are just really good smell good fragrances. You really can't go wrong with any Kayali. Um, I did try out the Pistachio Yum fragrance and it's just not for me. It doesn't stink by any means, but it's just not a favorite right now. I did test it out on the skin and I don't think I'll be buying it, but it's not bad. If I do buy it, I'll get the travel size because it's just... I don't know. It's not, it didn't stand out to me that day. Okay. So now we're going to get into the fragrances that I have in my cart right now. I've only done a test on the skin, um, just by going into the store and they're on my list to purchase. So the first one is Tangerine Boy by Fleur. This is a new fragrance for me. It's a clean fragrance, but y'all, this fragrance is so juicy. If you remember the Atelier line that they used to carry at Sephora, then you know how like authentic those fragrances were, the vanilla, the, the tangerine ones. This reminds me of that, but the dry down on Tangerine Boy is so complex and it's very cologne-like. I think, I mean, it is a unisex fragrance, but it's Tangerine Boy for a reason. And the tangerine is just pure, juicy, robust, like fresh tangerine but once it dries down it gives that cologne vibe and I'm just in love with it I wore it all day and I just could not stop smelling my hand okay so I'm definitely gonna get that and I'm not sure of the price on it I don't think it's too expensive but my plan is to mix that with the Tom Ford bitter peach for the summer because it's just going to give that extra freshness to it. I cannot wait. Okay. But I do think that it's complex enough on the dry down that you can wear it by itself. But here's the thing. You have to like authentic smelling like citrusy fragrances because this literally smells like you've squoze like an orange or a tangerine, like with the peel and all. It just smells so good. Okay. I love it. The next scent on my list is Apple Brandy by Killian. Y'all, I tried this one on and I was blown away. I love how sweet this is. It's a gourmand scent, but I like that crisp apple that it gives. Now I was going back and forth. Like, do I really need the Apple Brandy? Because I do have my Casablanca and it gives me the same kind of vibe, but this one is a little smoother 
probably because it's not an Arabic fragrance, but it's really good. And I never even had this on my radar. I never smelled it. All of a sudden, I just um, the guy actually at the at Sephora told me to try it out because they're always trying to get me to buy some type of fragrance and they just don't know I have them all. So he's like, well, have you tried this one? I'm like, you know what? You got me. I didn't try that one. And it smelled really good. Um, I think it is a nice all year round gourmand. It is heavier for spring, but it's not too heavy. It's not overpowering. It smells really good. The so. next fragrance on my list, and you guys need to get this one too. I think that this is the most underrated fragrance right now, and it is the Givenchy Irresistible. They have three of them. Eau de Parfum, of course, Eau de Toilette, and then they have like a rose one with a milky bottle. They all smell absolutely amazing, but I'll be getting the Parfum. This is a beautiful, fresh, floral it's just so elegant and beautiful and sweet and feminine and just perfect for everybody. Get your nose on this one, y'all. I would say this blew me away because to me, I just thought another designer fragrance, another fresh floral, you know, groundbreaking, right? Not, in, not impressed. When I smelled this, y'all, it smells so good. I, I think everybody would like this. This to me is blind by worthy. If you are looking for the perfect spring um, fragrance and you're just like a person that wears one fragrance, you know, per season or just wears like a signature scent. This is it. Get this one. Don't think about it. Just get it. It's amazing. And I can't wait to get my hands on it. Um, I was going to get it before because it's not like crazy expensive, but I'm like, no, I'm going to wait for the sale. And I love it. My mom tried it. She loved it. And me and her, we battle between scents because she has a totally different scent palette than I do but we both absolutely loved it. My little sister loved it. So it's really good. Okay. Highly recommend Givenchy Irresistible. I have it linked down below. Now I do have two fragrances on my list that I want to try and I haven't been able to get my nose on. The first one is called Floris by Ellis Brooklyn and it is in that hot pink bottle. They did not have this in my Sephora, but I've heard great things about it. So I'm really curious about that. Let me know if you guys have tried it out. Um, I'm thinking about just ordering it. And if I don't like it, you know, I'll send it back. But I may just do again, a travel size because I've been getting a lot of floral scents lately and I may not need that one, but I've heard good things and I haven't been able to smell it, but the notes seem interesting. So I definitely want to try it out. Now, if you're a clean girl, Ellis Brooklyn is a clean fragrance. No parabens, it's cruelty free. It's all the things. Um, so I'm definitely interested. Vegan, sustainable packaging, all of that. Um, it is a fresh floral and the key notes in this are tuberose petals, golden gardenia and honeysuckle. So that just really sounds like something different for me. Um, it may not be groundbreaking, but you guys know I'm just now getting into tuberose, so I'm definitely curious about that and how it mixes with the honeysuckle. So it sounds like the perfect spring fragrance. Um, and the bottle is super cute. It's super hot neon pink. So that's why I want to try it out. And I'm excited about it. Okay, y'all. So my last fragrance that's on my list to try, and I'm really excited about this one because a few reasons, okay? First of all, this is from a brand that I'd never heard of, Chris Collins. I was just searching, you know, Sephora, trying to figure out what I'm going to get for the sale. And this came up. Now, this is a black owned fragrance company. Um, the name is Chris Collins. And the scent that I'm interested in is called Lost in Paradise. And it is an eau de parfum. The bottle is really cute, you guys. Um, it is a little bit pricey. It retails for $175. I've done some research on this one. They don't have this in my store, so I haven't gotten my nose on it. But from the research, I'm definitely interested. He does have a few other fragrances, but this one I'm really interested in trying. Number one, it is unisex. It's a fresh scent and it's a layerable scent. Um, they consider this to be a fresh solar scent. It has coconut water, peach skin, salted musk. Um, and it just seems like it would smell amazing. Now, from my research, I've heard that it kind of puts you in the mind frame of the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Now, you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with Soleil Blanc. It's not that it stinks. My mom, it's my mom's signature scent. She loves this scent. She douses herself in this fragrance. It's one of those that is just never was my jam. But lately, I've been gravitating towards this scent. I have to admit, after all these years of me saying, ah, it's not my vibe, it's not my vibe. I've been gravitating towards it. But after doing research, 
research and looking up these notes, it seems like this is very similar to it. But some of the people are saying that this has a little bit of a twist. It has a little bit more of an elegant vibe to it, a little bit more perfumey. I think the coconut and, and the suntan lotion type of smell kind of threw me off in the Tom Ford. But this one, I'm willing to give it a try, you know, because I actually thought about getting the Soleil Blanc for a vacation just in a travel the other day. And I was like, you know what? Do I really, really, really want this? But then when I started looking at this one, I'm like, definitely going to try this out. And I would love to support a black owned fragrance company through Sephora. OK, we have to show these people that we're going to buy. So I'm really interested in this. If you guys have tried any of the Chris Collins fragrances, let me know. He has a few on here and I'm interested in a lot of these. Um, they have pretty good reviews too, like four out of five stars. So I'm really hoping that I love it and I can explore this brand more. So yeah, can't wait to try that one. Now, lastly, I do want to mention two home fragrances. You guys know I love my home fragrances. The first one that I recommend and I will always recommend is the Joe Malone diffusers. It doesn't matter which scent you get. This is the time to get your diffusers. The Joe Malone diffusers last for six months to a year, depending. OK, they last in your home for ever. They are so worth the one hundred dollars or I think they've gone up a little bit, but you're going to get your 20 percent off. So worth it. I know. You know, it's it's a conversation. And when I talked about my luxury home scents, it was definitely a conversation in the comments about spending so much money on home scents. Of course, this is a splurge. It's not a necessity. None of these things are, but they are amazing. OK, and I love them and I will always buy Joe Malone diffusers. And I just love to invest in scents for my home. So that's just my thing. OK, um, but Joe Malone is amazing. I love the peony and blush suede. I think it's a perfect scent for your home. If you like a fresh floral type of scent, um, the English pear and freesia is really good, but it's super, super, super strong. May make you cough and sneeze and all of that. But if you're looking for something that's going to fill up a huge space, that one's good. Um, roses is really good for the bedroom. Listen, they have so many different diffusers. I love silk blossom, which it comes and goes. I think it's like a limited edition, but it comes and goes and it has come and gone for like two years now. Love that for my bedroom is in there now. So I love the diffusers from Joe Malone. And again, y'all, they are really worth it. They last forever. OK, they last forever. And my last home scent is a candle. And this is Cuffing Season from Forever Mood, which is another black owned brand, Jackie Ina's uh, brand. I love cuffing season. Okay. It is a beautiful scent. Love it for all around the house. Um, so I do recommend you get that during the Sephora sale if it's available. Cuffing season tends to sell out pretty often. So if you can get your hands on it, this is the time. Get you one or two of them, you know, because they sell out all the time. But that's my favorite scent from the entire line. Okay, y'all. So we finally are making it to the end of the recommendations. These last recommendations are going to be my makeup recommendations. Now, these are my tried and true products that I use all the time, every single day when I do wear my makeup. So get your list ready because I'm wearing all the things today. The first thing that I want to recommend, and I have it here, this is the Mario um, Surreal Skin Foundation. I'm wearing it. I absolutely love, love, love this foundation now that I've gotten accustomed to it. When I first got this, the match was impeccable. Like, and I got this online. It's 22C. It's my perfect match. I was shocked at how well I was able to match this up. Um, but I wore it and it looked so good. But I will tell you, maybe by hour four, I was like, where is all of the oil coming from? I don't have oily skin. I don't have dry skin. So, you know, the T-zone, yes. But I felt like even when I would blot it, it was still giving me oil. Like, not oily, but you know, it's a dewy kind of foundation, I guess. And I'm I'm not used to setting my foundation. You guys know I don't set my foundations because I usually wear a naturally matte foundation. And I just like for, you know, it to sit naturally on my face. With this one, I do have to set it, okay? I do set it with translucent um, powder, very lightly. But y'all, look at how smooth this foundation is. It's super lightweight. It is just beautiful. I love this foundation 
one of my new favorites. Okay. Love, love, love this. This is definitely going into my holy grail. So this is my newest foundation. I've been wearing it every day since. And I'm so glad that I kind of learned how to work with it because yeah, I just have to go back to the old school way of just setting my foundation because I usually don't do that. But that one is really good and it looks like skin. It really does. It's beautiful. Next up, now this is messy. <laughs> I have my Estee Lauder foundation. This is my tried and true. I've worn this Estee Lauder double wear foundation for years. Highly recommend it. Get you a pump too. Um, I am in the shade Amber Honey. It's my perfect shade. And this is one that I don't have to set with um, anything. It's just beautiful. I love it so much. It lasts all day. It's naturally matte. It is full coverage, but it does not feel heavy on the skin. It is just impeccable. Perfect. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect foundation. And this is the last foundation that I recommend. This is my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the shade Neutral 13. Again, a perfect shade. I usually only use one or two foundations. This and the Estee Lauder Makeup by Mario is new for me. I've been using that probably the last two months, okay? But this, really good too. It is full coverage. It's not as matte as the Estee Lauder. It's a little thicker, but it's smooth as well. Um, it's exactly what it says, airbrush flawless. It gives you a flawless um, you know, kind of look to your face. And it does stay all day and I don't have to set this one either. So I always will re-up on both of those. If I know it's going to be a long night um, and I need to look super glam, I'm going to go for one of those foundations. This is my new everyday foundation. Those are the three foundations that I recommend. I've used them. They don't break me out. Um, never had any issues with any of these. And they're amazing. If you like a flawless look like I do, try these foundations. Okay. And this is no filter. This camera does not have a smoothing filter on it. And this is how my skin looks made up. Okay. So just wanted to let you guys know the foundations are doing what they need to do. Of course, skincare and all that, but this is what it really looks like. Amazing. Another product that I want to recommend is the Gucci bronzer. I love this bronzer for spring and summer because it has a super red tone. This is what it looks like. You can see it's pretty red um, and I love it because it just brings so much warmth to my skin. I'm wearing it today. And what shade is this? This is in the shade 05, the bronzing powder. Love this so much. Um, and I do like to contour with just my black radiance first and then put that on top. But when it gets like really hot outside, I'll just go for the bronzer. So Love that bronzer so much. If you're looking for a warmer bronzer for us that's still super dark, perfect. Love that. Another product that I have to recommend are my translucent powders from Laura Mercier. I love them so much. This is my honey. It is done. Okay, there's no more in here. So I'm going to be getting this again. Um, I received this one in PR. This is the translucent. It was like a special edition one. Love both of these. I actually set my face with the uh, translucent all over today and under my eyes. And this is what I'm looking like. And as you can see, I can use the translucent even though I am darker brown complexion, but it does just fine. No flashback or anything like that. But I do love the honey. Um, a lot as well. So I ran out of my honey. So I started using this. This was always a holy grail, but both of these are amazing. If you're looking for a good setting powder, these are tried and true. I've been using these powders for years and I'm not interested in anything else. Listen, I tried to give the Fenty a try. It makes my eyes water. So this is going to somebody else. This is full. I used it three times and was like, I can't. Another product that I recommend is the Anastasia Brow Gel, you guys. Oh my goodness, the brow gel from Anastasia in clear is absolutely amazing. Listen, I've been trying to use other ones. I have an elf one here. It doesn't do the trick. It's nothing quite like the Anastasia one. It gives you like that laminated brow look without having your eyebrows sticking straight up and just straight gel to your face. I don't like that look, but it's close enough, you know, and it's really good. And like I said, I've tried cheaper ones. Like I have the elf one here. That's what I'm using right now. It doesn't do what the Anastasia one does. So Unfortunately and fortunately, it is worth the money. I mean, you, it is a bit of a splurge because it's just a clear brow gel, but I haven't tried any other ones that do what that one does. So I do recommend that and I'm going to get it during the sale because 
I'm not spending that. You know, I'm not going to spend that on a brow gel, but it's hard to live without it. So I've been missing it. I don't have any more and I've been out for a little minute. Now, some of the lip products that I absolutely love, we'll start with liners. So one of my favorite brown lip liners is the Sephora um, Molasses Pencil. It's really good, super dark, perfect. If you are looking for a dark brown lip liner, I love it, okay? Love, love, love it. Now, it's always sold out. The good thing about this though is during the sale, I believe they're 30% off of Sephora products. So love that for us. Um, but it's always out of stock. And because of that, I ended up trying another brown lip liner and I got the Huda Beauty Rich Brown Lip Liner. Now, this is good, okay? Because it is more expensive but it's a mixture between the molasses from Sephora and the um, chestnut from MAC. And why I say it's a mixture, it's like they had a baby because I love the color of chestnut from MAC, but I hate how dry it is. And I hate the fact that I have to, um, you know, use a pencil sharpener for it. The molasses has the retractable thing. So, you know, you just push it up, but it is a shinier lip liner. It's very emollient, but it's shinier. So it's like, ah, you know, I needed an in-between. Huda Beauty has the perfect in-between. It's not as shiny, but it also has the retractable pencil. So you don't have to worry about using, you know, an actual pencil sharpener, but you will pay more for it. So those are my two favorite brown lip liners. Y'all, I'm a brown lip liner connoisseur because I'm always losing mine. And so far, those are my favorite too. Now, a couple of lipsticks, I'm always asked about my new lip combos, okay? One of my favorite lipsticks is from Artist Couture and it is in the color Power Play. Every time I wear this on a sit down video, you guys ask me, what new lip are you wearing? What new lip? It's always Power Play usually by Artist Couture and I love it so much. So definitely get your hands on that one. It's the perfect nude. It's like not too light, not too dark. It's just beautiful and it looks amazing with brown lip liner. Also a newer lipstick for me is the Rare Beauty Talented. Now this is one that is a little bit more of a peachy nude and lighter. So you definitely need a liner for it if you're my complexion or darker. But I like the formula of the Rare Beauty and I really like the packaging because it like pushes out. So love, love, love that one as well. And I'm really a nude lip type of girl. I either do nude lip, like a pinky nude, regular nude, or a red lip. My favorite red lip from Sephora is um, Lady Balls by Too Faced, one of my absolute favorite reds. I've been wearing that for years, probably, girl, five years or more. OK, so I love that one. Do recommend it highly. But I have a new one on my list to try that we'll get to in a minute. Um, let's go ahead and finish up. Also, I recommend you get the Fenty Gloss Bomb. It's my favorite lip gloss. The Gloss Bomb is the sexiest lip gloss, okay? It just gives the be most beautiful shine. It has that perfect little tint to it that really can calm down a super bright nude on us brown skin beauties because sometimes it's a little too chalky or whatever. And it's just like, it just makes everything work when you apply it. So I love the Gloss Bomb just in the original glow shade. Love that one. I have the other ones as well, but that one is top Y'all, we're at the end of the list. Okay, so now I'm just going to tell you about the makeup products that I'm here to try. The makeup products that I want to try is the House of Lab Blush in Dragon Fruit Days, which is like this beautiful hot, hot, hot pink. It is almost a dupe for the Dior blush, if you will. I have a hot pink here that has been discontinued because it's makeup Shayla's from like ColourPop, I think. So I definitely want to try this. I've tried them on my hand and they are so pigmented. It's scary. The other one I want to try is Watermelon Bliss. This is supposed to be like a universal red blush for every skin tone. And again, the pigmentation and the texture, immaculate. They feel like butter. So I'm excited to try those. I hadn't quite moved into the, um, what do you call it? The liquid blushes yet. Rare Beauty has some that I'm Kind of wanting to try, but I'm scared of a liquid blush. Like, 
I like using powder products. It's just easier, less messy. But yeah, definitely want to try out the House of Lab uh, blushes. Well, not try, I'm buying them. Um, and I've only tried them on my hand, but I know the pigmentation is everything. I want to try out the Fenty Velvet Lipsticks. Um, it's either an MVP or HBIC, whichever one is the super bright red, like bright orange red, um, because I love my lady balls, but it is just a cool tone blue red, perfect for every skin tone. Um, but I want a bright, bright, bright red. Now I have tried out the velvet lipsticks and I got it in reread the color. I didn't like that color on me when I'm going for like a pink lip. I go for lipsticks, not the liquid lipsticks. So that's why I, it's just. I didn't like how matte it was, you know, but I definitely love a super, super, super matte red lip. So that's why I'm interested. And I have these in my cart. I need to figure out which one it is, though, the HBIC or either the MVP. Also, let me know which one you love, because everybody's been trying this one and it looks amazing on everybody. I love seeing my brown skin girls in a popping red lip. OK, that is just Nothing tops it for real. Another fancy product that I want to try is the Gloss Bomb Cream in Honey Waffles. I've never tried the cream Gloss Bombs, just the original. But this Honey Waffles, Tiana Taylor had this on. And I was like, what is this lip combo? And it was Honey Waffles. So I'm definitely getting that. Um, cannot wait to get that in the mail. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, that's all my makeup products that I want to recommend. I love a lot of different makeup products and I wear them every single day, but I wanted to kind of condense the list down because this video is getting super long. Last but not least, I have to recommend this curling iron. This is a curling iron that I absolutely love. It comes with three different attachments and this is by T3. This is how I curled my hair today. And y'all, my hair hadn't been done for like three days. Look at how shiny my hair is. I don't have anything on my hair. OK, and it's literally the technology of this T3 uh, curling iron. I love these type of curling irons with like a clamp, but they have a lot of different products. I just like I don't know what this is. Ceramic, titanium, girl, whatever it is, it's good. OK, love, love, love. I like how fast it heats up literally within 10 seconds um, and you're ready to go. So highly recommend the T3 curling iron. All right, y'all. So that wraps it up. That's my entire recommendations list plus my list to buy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know these can get long, but I love watching these videos because I like to just add things to my cart so that when the sale comes, I can just check out. You know what I mean? It's just so much easier and you get like a quick review from everybody too. So that's why I love making these videos. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found this video helpful as well. Everything that I mentioned will be linked down below. I'll also just make an all encompassing list like where you can click on one link and you'll see all the products there as well. It's just easier and I'll probably share that um, on Instagram or something like that. But yeah, y'all, thank you again for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will talk to you on my next one. Bye. <music>